Hi, I'm Mark Savage here and welcome to my channel. I know on first glimpse it looks like a speed fight, but it is not. It is called a Herald Hayes 50cc. Now, originally I thought this was like a Malaysian, Indonesian, Chinese sort of manufactured. Um, Herald is actually a British company in Huntington, Cambridgeshire. But you can tell this is basically still exactly the same Chinese bike just made here. Herald have stopped making these now and they're making more into 125, 250s and 50 cc's. That's enough about Herald. Now this little thing. Okay, I know you haven't seen me for a while. I'm battling with the letter C at press a minute and this is just taking your mind off things. Um, another story. Anyway, what do you get for your money? About a grand originally these were new, under this kilos. Get about 5.5 litre tank at the front here. I'll go round it and show you in a couple of seconds. Um, little 40, they're okay just to do 30 mile an hour, nipping around, you know, college, whatever you can do for 16 year olds. Um, end of the day, that's what they are. This one though, well, what am I going to be doing to it? Quickly show you around it. One, Herald Hayes 50 cc from the front, a little bit speed fight ish. We've got 14 inch tyres here, little alloys, twin shocks, obligatory little bit of rust, that's got to go. If it gets down here, you start ruining your seals and then you start leaking. These are not there yet, so get rid of that. Twin lights, looks like side lights as well. Usual mirrors, indicators. Nice chunky seat, side stand, centre stand. And here's your just obligatory engine, little four stroke. I'm pretty sure this is a Lex Moto. Is that the same as all of them, to be honest with you? Nothing has changed except carb or EFI. This one is carb, lucky enough. Battery goes here. Different fuel cap there, isn't it? Key. Standard clocks, indicators. No web counter, fuel, which is nice. High beam, low beam, indicators cancel. Horn, start and your lights. The back looks quite nice I think personally. Nice shaped designed exhaust. Air cooled. Twin shocks at the back. We have this uh, nice LED light rear. LED indicators. Quite like the way that's designed. And even a little uh, hugger there as well. Disc brakes back and front. They're a 14 inch tyre. All in, not a bad looking bike. We listed 100 kilos, just over 1.5, something like 1.9. So it can be a little bit heavy. Yes, she's still in the videos. What am I going to be doing to this bike? Literally start front to back. Remember, these are not quality built bikes. You have to keep going round them. They need servicing, then they'll keep going. If you just ride it and ride it, things fall off and they just die. Pretty much like this one has. The person owned it before said that, that it was running fine, they popped it in the garage and when they took it back out again, it hasn't been running. E10, hate the stuff, you know that. That's coming out of here and I'll put nice fresh E5 in here. Rear brake feels jamming on, so that's not good either because this back and front, it's not the old cable, so I have to look at that as well. So, so where do I start? Tire pressure, back and front. Discs look all right. Pads, I'll be checking them, clean them, make sure they're okay. Front forks, no, they're not leaking, but I'm gonna clean up with anti-rust and rub this down, make sure it doesn't cause any problems later. Headstock, felt a little bit, I wasn't quite sure. I'm gonna check the headstock as well, that means the front has to come off. It's only a little bolt, tighten and loosen, however it works out. Just feels a little bit knocky. Take this off, find the reservoirs, check the brake fluid. Free up these, check all the switches and handles check the electrics, front both lights, checking the clocks all work, indicators and everything. These stuff from the side stand sensor, so we're going to be looking at that as well, making sure it's bolted on properly and the stand, the main stand, making sure that's bolted on properly. A lot of kids sit on these all the time, maybe a little bit heavy for the bike and you're not getting this Boeing business, but this is fine here. To the rear, skip the engine for the minute. Make sure these bolts are okay, make sure LED lights, indicators all work, make sure this is all on properly. Twin shocks at the back, make sure they're not leaking, make sure they're stable. Rear wheels said check the pressure. Brake back here. I'll put some more light on, we actually do the job, but today we're just talking about things. So, I'm going to take the caliper off and clean that up. Obviously it's jamming, road salt, anything could be doing that, or even the pad's gone. We'll have a look. Exhaust checking that's all on properly, make sure it's not leaking. 
we'll touch it all up later. First glimpse in the bucket. You get to the carb, but these bolts coming out, this is out. The battery is already off. Look what happened when I just took the battery off. The cable broke, so I've got to sort that one out. Also, this here, the little catch, doesn't sit properly in here. It's not locking properly. It will lock properly when I am finished. Engine, these are four T's, okay? Oil change, it's got to be done. Uh, every couple of thousand miles on these, it's just worth doing. And it's only a litre of bloody oil anyway. Quality 1040 motorbike oil, doesn't really matter in these, if I'm really honest with you. Um, the, what they put in there is crap. So that's a little button underneath, drain out, no filter. Make sure it all comes out, put new in. That will help the engine as well and longevity of it. Carburetor is going to come off. We're going to clean all the carburetor. We're going to drain this E10 fuel out. Spark plug. Never underestimate a spark plug. I know no history about this bike whatsoever. Couple of owners, five owners, I don't know. I haven't got the logbook. But with a spark plug, if it's an NGK spark plug, they're good for 4,000 miles, a lot, you know, better. But for these ones, 2,500 miles, if it's the original spark plug, you can tell whatever it's going to be, chuck it away, get yourself an NGK. I'm going to have a look at this one, and if it looks good, we'll just clean it up. We're going to check for spark as well. If you've got an orange spark, that's no good. It's a weak spark, you're not going to get what you want out of the bike anyway. You want a good blue spark out of the bike. Maybe the problem here, as you don't know the service history, you've got to go over these bikes, okay? I know it takes a bit of time, but you're putting, you know, as an adult parent, whatever you want to call me, you're putting your young one on there, you want to make sure they're going to get A to B and safely. That's why I'm going to go over this bike from front to back. Next video will show you what I do and a non-running bike, hopefully to a running bike or ped. That's the things we're going to be doing with this bike in the next video. But the engine wise, yeah, it's going to be a total. I know it's not seized. Um, these new battery as well, that is completely knackered. Um, we always need a good battery on these, but I'm just really not impressed with that back brake. I can feel it jamming on there as well. Sam, that's that tyre pressure, it's so important. 30 pounds, you're never going to go wrong. But when you ride it first off, kids don't know, even adults don't know what they're supposed to ride like. I'm happy it's got 14 inch tyres now. The early Boeotians were 10 inch tyres, they were quite really bad monitoring. The bigger the tyre, the more stable the bike is on the road, and that's a fact. This will do 30 miles an hour all day long, there's no sense in messing around with it. Once I get it running, hopefully, I will take it for a ride, and if you're not getting 29, 30 miles an hour of it, then I'll take the variator system apart and have a look at that. Many videos on my channel had to do this, but this is what you start with. Make sure it's just stable and everything's on there. I'm happy to say there's no cable ties. Yay! A little bit of crack down here. It did that damage moving and transporting it. It does happen. So, there we go. First little look at a Hayes Herald, Herald Hayes 50cc. They don't make them anymore, I don't think. There are quite a few on the road, as in limited numbers. Nothing like, you know, the other big bikes. All the parts are going to be just standard, you know, your Exmoto ones. Um, so they're not going to be too hard to get hold of, if I'm honest with you. No spark, then we know it's going to be the CDI. We've just got to find it. And generally around. I was quite amazed that the tank's right at the front here, and not normal under the seat, because most are under the seat. Now, that's quite a nice little idea, I think. Anyway, there we go. Enough chat. Next video, we'll all go through it. Meanwhile, take care of the road. Good to see you all. Bye-bye.